Hello, very good evening. Some shows you look forward to more than others. I've been particularly looking forward to this one uh, ever since I knew who the main guest was going to be, and I think that was about three weeks ago. Fair to say that uh, in any era, there are special players. There are particularly popular players. And in this particular football era, no player has been more popular and stands out on and off the field more than one of my guests this evening. He is Jose Semedo of Sheffield Wednesday. Delighted to see you. Andy Giddings, our old friend from BBC Radio Hello. Sheffield, is here as well. That enables us to ensure that we have Sheffield United as part of the conversation, <laughs> and it's not just dominated by the blue and white half of the city. So we do have a little bit of balance here uh, tonight. And Jose, you've timed your arrival in the studio with the precision of one of those late but fair challenges that wins the ball. <laughs> you were here, I think, precisely three minutes before the start of the show. Absolutely, right on time. Well, uh, yeah, that's a matter of opinion. Absolutely. For, <laughs> for you, yes. <laughs> I'm not so sure for me, but it's good to see you, uh, particularly Thank good you to so see you, as you are the author of this book uh, called Win the Day, and I'm sure it's being yeah. bought in great numbers by Sheffield Wednesday supporters. Uh, as we speak. Yeah, I've been signing a few, a few of those I've been signing, yeah, which is a good signal. <laughs> I bet it is a very good thing. Uh, and you've also been doing a few interviews too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all, all around to talk about the book and uh, my journey in Sheffield Wednesday, which, uh, which has been an amazing, which, like I said, is, um, is something so special. Since the first day I walked into this club till now, it's been an amazing journey. And, uh, to combine all of that, and uh, that's why uh, I made the book to share with the whole Sheffield Wednesday family, to my fans, and uh, more about Jose Semedo because all of them know Semedo more on the football pitch, yeah. but on his book they can see Semedo in total. So yeah. this, the reason why I did this book is all about them to open them my heart, and at the same time there is some positive thinking there, some good stuff which can help not only them, but the sons, the kids, the daughters. All for everybody, yeah. for everybody. Yeah, that's the reason I made this book. We're going to talk in depth about the book, about your time at Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, you've actually answered one of my questions <laughs> in that answer, that first one, without me asking. Some say it's a bit like that tom tomato, tomato song. Some say semedo, and some say semedo. I notice you say semi semedo. Yes, yeah, semedo. Well, I was wrong then, because I've always said tomato. What have you said, Andy Giddings? <laughs> I think I probably said tomato as well. <laughs> yeah, I've straight there. So that's both. We'll, we'll, go, we'll proceed on to the pronunciations of a striker, uh, another Portuguese striker yeah, yeah. later, and a Portuguese head coach. So yeah. in this one interview, we should get all of them, all of them correct. Correct, Before yeah. Before I bring Andy in, um, this book, um, I've just had a flick through. I've not had the yeah. pleasure of reading yet. I, I'm sure I will do. And yeah. this, this is your copy, so I can't nick off with it. Just flicking I through. I can offer you if you want. I can offer you this one. Can, can you sign it for me? Yes, as well? of course. Yeah. Oh, marvelous. Well, there you <laughs> are. I said the right thing to get that book. Um, and then I'll review it so you get some more publicity in the Sheffield Telegraph. <laughs> it looked to me a different type of football book, not your bog standard uh, account of your career. Yeah, yeah. This, how important was it to you for this to be different? Yeah, it's, uh, it was something so important because it's really touching all the small details of life, what it takes you to be uh, not only a professional footballer, but to be a good man, you know, and to, be, to have a mind discipline, which is so important in today's world, the way the world it is, 100 miles away, and uh, to be focused and mentally and the game after game, you know, sports psychology of the game is so important today to maintain yourself in, uh, in good shape and to maintain yourself win the day every single day. And uh, this is what I believe, not look too so much ahead and not look the past. Yeah. And uh, by winning the day, every single day, go training, be the best I can be. Yeah. Doesn't matter if I win or lose. But one thing is to have that mind discipline is to win the day and to be the best you can be. Yeah. So not just be time. a good player, but to be a good person. Exactly. It's important to you. Uh, Andy, this is one of the good guys, isn't it? Yeah, very much this so. I mean, footballers come and go at football clubs. Jose Semedo is the only one that I can recall has had a, a day named after him. Semedo. Forest. Yes, of course. <laughs> 
and it just goes to show how popular he's become and why he's become popular with Sheffield Wednesday fans because of the way that he conducts himself and yeah. the way that he gives 110% in each and every game that he's played for Sheffield Wednesday throughout a period of relative success in the in the club's history too but also how he conducts himself in interviews and the way he comes across and there's a, a brightness to yeah. him and a, and a friendliness there is. Yeah. talking about the fans all the time your affection for them it works both <laughs> ways doesn't it it's not it's not you know forced no. and that's why he's held within the, the regard that he is it's refreshing to hear that because you say you've got Tyson Fury at the <laughs> moment making headlines inside and outside the boxing ring and some people say it doesn't matter what he says he's a great boxer you know we should ignore what he says <laughs> but actually can we you know isn't it is it it, it is important how people behave yeah, it, for sure. It, you know, it, 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 I mean, is that important to Mr. Ronaldo as well? Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. forward, your best pal. Yeah. Or one of your be best yeah, pals. Yeah, one of my best friends, for sure. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. And uh, I was about to tell him to, can you post me a picture on your social media? But I didn't say that to him. And he asked me, did you see your, the social media today? I said, no, no, I didn't. Can you go have a look? And when I went to look and I see my book, they said, your book is on fire now. <laughs> <laughs> and he said to me, I was waiting for you all the time to let me know yeah. when can I post the picture. And I said, yeah, I was about to tell you, but on the same time, you write me the forward. That's, that's fantastic. And I know you wish me all the best. Yeah. I would not ask you for nothing more because the most important thing for me is to have the forward. And you did that for me. I would not ask you anymore. No. He said, come on, we are friends. I will do everything for you. And I have here your book and I will read your book anyway. He I did, would do that. He did that without asking. I've missed, exactly, tr you know. I missed a trick in promoting this show. I should have included <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo's Twitter <laughs> on it. May, may have got a tweet. Uh, can you yeah. fix it for us? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. um, he is a special player and, and you're, you're, you're a special friend of his, but you, yeah. you, you, you're embarrassed when we keep raising it, I think, aren't you? Sometimes. Not really, no. not really. You know, he's a, he's a special guy. He's a mm -hmm. proper friend. We've grown up since 10 years old and we was living in the same room. We have some very, very things. All the time we was together, we went to the gym at midnight when nobody, when we are not allowed to go. We yeah. hide him behind the machines to get ourselves in great position. We do a lot of times one v ones in the small pitch we have there in the academy. He put some weights on his leg. He yeah. said, I want to work my quick feet and he was, you want to work your defensive skill, and the, I'm the best player here, and you'll be, be able to stop any other strikers in the, in the world when we become yeah. a professional footballer. And uh, we live some great things together, and uh, you know, yeah. since then we're still on touch, and always we have a dream to come and play English football. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, till now we're still uh, big, big friends. And, uh, if, he was mark if he were marketing him, he wouldn't do much, would he? No, no, for sure. You can ask him. He knows. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped him so many times in training. Yeah. And the, but to be fair, he's, uh, he's the best in the world. If you've stopped, yeah, as you say, if you've stopped somebody <laughs> like Cristiano in training, you're going to stop championship players. Right? <laughs> you know, that's why they say just, never get past the middle. <laughs> yeah, they do. And, and Andy mentioned it earlier. But <laughs> <laughs> they do say that. And there's this did, magic yeah. and, and, and thing. And, and it is quite astonishing. I was at that game at the city ground, uh, I think it was two seasons ago. Mm, a couple of years ago, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Samido Day. It was incredible. With the, the masks. It was, it was, I never thought something like that. I come out, so I saw when we arrived on the bus, there were some Portuguese flags, and uh, yeah. I saw one of my masks uh, during the week in the training ground, but when I come out the tunnel to go to do a warm-up, and uh, you come out in the tunnel, and on the right-hand side is where us fans sit, and when I come out and I look, so many semidos there, I said, oh my God, it was <laughs> all my faces, I said, this is incredible. I couldn't, I couldn't believe it was, it's one day I will never forget in my life. Yeah. I think people outside the area were baffled by it. They were mystified. I felt that journalists were asking me, what, what's this all about? You know, uh, exactly. Uh, <laughs> no, th this is like have another kid. This is like uh, you, you never forgot the day your son born. You never forgot these kind of things. And no. for me, uh, I, I cannot have, I can't pay to this fund what they did to me. Yeah. Uh, I, give, I, I hope I'm thinking to write the book, to open myself, to open my heart, to give it to them Semido in total, you know, that's the only thing I can give to them as much as I always, every single day to go training, I always think about them and do my best in training games. What, why do you think it is that you've 
become so popular and you were so popular so early uh, to become a cult figure. You, you, you arrived at Sheffield Wednesday in 2011, yeah. having played for Charlton for four years, 135 appearances yeah. down there. And you left Charlton, Gary Megson nipped in and signed yeah. you. In fact, he was insistent on signing you. I think yeah, there's some yeah. kind of ultimatum. You've got to sign this fella. Yeah. And, and very quickly, you, 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 you established this rapport. It was why, why? How? I, how did that happen? I can't explain. I think it's, it was something made by the big man up there, the God. You know, I think because I feel the, some click, some love for this club even before I joined Sheffield Wednesday. When I played the, the, on the same year, I played for Charlton here in January when we was winning 2-0 two, two in the first half. Yeah. And in the second half, the atmosphere was, I feel, I was myself inside of the pitch and I said, I want to play for these fans. Yeah, yeah. I say that to myself without, without imagining I can coming in this summer, coming signing for Chef Wins. And uh, when the gaffer, Gary Mason, called me, said he wants to play for me, and he was Chef Wins manager, I said, yeah. I didn't think twice. I said, this is my club. Because I had, at the same time, I had the offer from Doncaster, which there was in the championship. And I said, no, no, no. I want to go to, I want to go to Sheffield Wednesday. Mm. You, I mean, with no disrespect to Jose here, it's not always about playing ability. Uh, Jose is a good player, Absolutely. a good midfield player, yeah. and, he, and he's versatile. You couldn't say he's a virtuoso player by, by the nature of the way he plays. He's a ball winner, he holds things together, he's an anchor man. So it, it transcends ability as a player, doesn't it, this being a favourite as a club? Well, very much so, and it centres largely on work rate, doesn't it? Fans would hate to see any player representing their football club, and in essence them, mm. not giving 110% every week. They're the players, regardless of what position they are, what they bring to the team, or their abilities within that team, technical abilities, etc. If they're not working, those fans are going to get it, uh, yeah. Those players are going to get it from those fans, but if, and everybody has to be different in the team, they can't be the same, but if yeah. they see a guy giving 110%, that will go an awful long way. Yeah. It may sort of gloss over a, f a few failings that a, any player may well have, but if they, if they give it their all, that, that group of fans will always really like that player. And sometimes it goes on to a level where you get a day <laughs> yeah. named after you. Yes, indeed. We'll, yeah. go, we'll go into more of that a little bit l l later in the programme. This is a fellow who goes above and beyond. But I must change the topic briefly yeah. uh, with Andy here, because are you aware there are two football teams in Sheffield? Yeah, yeah. You do I, know that? Yeah, I know. Right, that. there was another one. Be right, be careful <laughs> how you answer that going forward. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Sheffield United, uh, not having the best of times at the moment. And nope. I just wonder what you make of the overall feeling and the atmosphere at Bramall Lane, because there's a lot of mystification about it. it this was the right manager, the right players, far from the right position. Yeah, playing all the right notes, but not in the right order. They're, yeah, mystified, I think, is a pretty decent way to describe it. They have a manager who has a track record of gaining promotion with a big club and with a small club too, with great respect to Southampton. I don't think this board can be criticised for not investing in the team over recent years. And we can all discuss at great length whether the players they've signed are any good, but in terms of the money they've spent. I don't think that there can be any real criticisms there. Norman. We could talk about the fan base, which is fantastic, the stadium, the training facilities, the near misses, which suggests there's a little bit of something there in the squad. Yet on each occasion, with each passing season, you just feel the team is going backwards. Mm. So I personally now am of the opinion that the manager is, is absolutely fine. I think there, is, there are grounds to still believe in Nigel Adkins. Uh, and the stadium and the facilities aren't going to change. So what does? And I, I would hope that within the next two transfer windows, there is a fairly sizable cosmetic change to that mm. team because there are too many players within that group now that have been with that club and had the near misses. Mm -hmm. So, so many near misses, you need to make the changes then, don't you? And there, there are clearly players there that are very good. I think Billy Sharp as one of Nigel Atkins signings has worked. Have any of the others? No. Probably not. No. Uh, and then there are other players within that team that you'd say, actually, you know what, I'm going to stick by that person. Mm. But I think that there are eight or nine others that you could probably say, I think, thanks very much, but it's time to move on. Mm. This week, there was, uh, there was some, I don't know, I would use the word cosmetic uh, changes. I would also use the word window dressing type changes 
in the boardroom, some movement of familiar figures and one or two less familiar figures coming in and suddenly you've got a football committee that's made up of quite a number of people, uh, some of them with very little football expertise, you would have said, with no disrespect to them. You know, they don't have specialist football expertise for what is, isn't it, a two-man job? And, and we had a, a chief exec executive or managing director dismissed or departing in Mal Brannigan. Well, can so I just say to that, I hope that these changes, cosmetic, and I agree with that, though they are actually now start to have a tangible effect on Sheffield United. I hope to be proved wrong. On the field, because mm. for years now, several years, we've had various different changes. Julian Winter came and went and came and went and came and went, and there's been various <laughs> other different yeah. restructures. Uh, David Green has held various different roles within Sheffield United Football Club. Uh, Martin Green is just getting his feet under the table. Carl Schieber has had different roles at Sheffield United. And from the outside looking in, I, I can't fault their business acumen, nor can I look at them as football administrators and, and know to the fullest extent of, of what they do. Mm. But it just looks again at Sheffield United where there are too many chiefs and too many Indians. Uh, and I just wonder whether there are, there are too many people, all with an opinion, when really it should fall, and fall on two people. Sure. It should fall on the manager's head, because he's the one whose head's on the block full yeah. time, uh, and possibly the chief exec who deals with the budget to go and get these people. Um, and that's it. And as, I, I, you know, as regards the team, I think there should be a few changes there. Yeah. I just wonder what effect all these people and what they're doing and what they're saying to and me, who they're saying it to. And if it's what's a committee going. situation, it's just a wasting time. Yeah. When two people could get on with it, but allowing for the lack of football expertise of the type of Derek so Dooley. So long as there are clearly defined roles. I mean, the mm. idea of the football committee is nothing unique and nothing new. And I, I fully appreciate that the business of football has taken football clubs to a point where maybe it's not just about one man doing as the chairman it's his football club and then the board of directors on the way you need other people both from the commercial side of things and the football side of things mm. but i think a lot of football clubs now are guilty of overstretching that too much and i think that criticism can certainly be leveled at sheffield united but we hope it works out okay absolutely it, it can uh, it needs to now i mean absolutely it, how does. much more are the sheffield united fans going to have to sit in frustration knowing mm. that nine-tenths of exactly what they need to get out of League One is absolutely there in front of their face, sure. well, well, in well, my opinion. Well summed up. No, I, I, I happen to agree. You know, we don't always agree, but no, I happen we don't. to. Um, got the break coming up in a couple of minutes. You've got to uh, uh, leave us. Uh, uh, Andy's a busy fellow, as you can appreciate. <laughs> Jose's staying on for the full shift. Yeah. She was here for the whole of the second half uh, <laughs> as well. Just before we go to the break, yeah. Uh, we're talking about um, backroom setups, etc. When Sheffield Wednesday appointed Carlos Carvalhal, yeah. for want of a better pronunciation, yeah. we yeah. were scratching our heads because we didn't know him. Yeah. But of course, you did know him. No, you I, knew I, of him. No, I did never work with him. Never worked with him, but you no. knew of him. Yes, yes, because in Portugal he's very rated manager. Yeah, you know we have obviously Jose Mourinho as a top one, and after coming. George Jesus from Sporting Lisbon at the moment, and Carlos Cavalhal is up there. Yeah. You know, that's his very ranked, uh, good manager in the country, and uh, obviously CV talk for himself. Well, your reaction then when you heard that Carlos had been appointed was what? What was your feeling? Yeah, my feel I talk with some players, play with me in Sporting Lisbon, Carlos Martins, which has been coached by him, talk with him to ask more information about him, how is him, and everybody said he's top manager. Yes. And I know he has to be top manager because to manage sport in Lisbon, you have to be a top manager. To uh, manage Besiktas in Turkey, you have to be top manager. And I know it. That I was asking more him how he is as a person, and everybody talked well about him. And the, the reflections on the team, you can see everybody's happy. And that's borne out. Everybody you know, is happy working exactly. for him. As a management, you can see the improvement of the team on the pitch. But the union the team has with the togetherness the team has is, is his management. He's a top, top guy on, on doing that. We've seen evidence of that. So mm. none of that surprises yeah. us because we have 
Both yeah. of us, Andy and I, and Jim exactly. and Australia have seen over this yeah. one. Yeah. Right, more to come on Win the Day, the Jose Semedo book. James Gregg is going to join us to round up the yeah. sporting scene, but a lot more on this man's football background and how Sheffield Wednesday are faring this season here on uh, Sheffield Live in five minutes. Uh, we'll see you back there then. Win or lose, but one thing is to have that mind discipline is to win the day and to be the best you can be. Yeah. So not just be time. a good player, but to be a good person exactly. is important to you. Uh, Andy, this is one of the good guys, isn't it? Yeah, very much this so. I mean, footballers come and go at football clubs. Jose Semedo is the only one that I can recall has had a day named after him. Semedo. Not Forest. Yes, of course. <laughs> yes. And it just goes to show how popular he's become and why he's become popular with Sheffield Wednesday fans because of the way that he conducts himself and yeah. the way that he gives 110% in each and every game that he's played for Sheffield Wednesday throughout a period of relative success in the, in the club's history too, but also how he conducts himself in interviews and the way he comes across and there's a, a brightness to yeah. him and a, and a friendliness. There is. Talking yeah. about the fans all the time, your affection for them, it works both <laughs> ways, doesn't it? It's not, it's not you know, forced. No. And that's why he's held within the, the regard that he is. It's refreshing to hear that because you say you've got Tyson Fury at the <laughs> moment making headlines inside and outside the boxing ring. And some people say it doesn't matter what he says. He's a great boxer. You know, we should ignore what he says. <laughs> but actually, can we? You know, isn't it? Is, it, it, it is important how people behave. Yeah, it, for sure. It, you know, it, 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 I mean, is that important to Mr. Ronaldo as well? Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. forward, your best pal. Yeah. Or one of your best Yeah, pal. one of my best friends, for sure. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. And uh, I was about to tell him to, can you post me a picture on your social media? But I didn't say that to him. And he asked me, did you not <laughs> come straight there? So that's both. We'll, we'll, go, we'll proceed on to the pronunciations of a striker, uh, another Portuguese striker yeah, yeah. later, and a Portuguese head coach. So yeah. in this one interview, <laughs> we should get all of them, all of them correct. Correct, Before yeah. Before I bring Andy in, um, this book, um, I've just had a flick through. I've not had the yeah. pleasure of reading yet. I, I'm sure I will do. And yeah, this, yeah. this is your copy, so I can't nick off with it. Just flicking I through. I can offer you if you want. I can offer you this one. Can, it, can you sign it for me? Yes, as well? of course. Yeah. Oh, marvelous. Well, there you <laughs> are. I said the right thing to get that book. Um, and then I'll review it so you get some more publicity in the Sheffield Telegraph. <laughs> it looked to me a different type of football book, not your bog standard uh, account of your career. Yeah, yeah. This, how important was it to you f for this to be different? Yeah, it's, uh, it was something so important because. Is really touching all the small details of life, what it takes you to be uh, not only a professional footballer but to be a good man, you know, and to be to have a mind discipline, which is so important in today's world, the way the world it is, hundred miles away, and uh, to be focused and mentally and the game after game, you know, sports psychology of the game is so important today to maintain yourself in. Uh, in good shape and to maintain yourself, win the day every single day. And uh, this is what I believe, not look so much ahead and not look the past. Yeah. And uh, by winning the day, every single day, go training, be the best I can be. Yeah. Doesn't matter if I... Hello, very good evening. Some shows you look forward to more than others. I've been particularly looking forward to this one uh, ever since I knew who the main guest was going to be. And I think that was about three weeks ago. Fair to say that uh, in any era, there are special players. There are particularly popular players. And in this particular football era, no player has been more popular and stands out on and off the field more than one of my guests this evening. He is Jose Semedo of Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Delighted to see you. Andy Giddings, our old friend from BBC Radio Hello. Sheffield, is here as well. That enables us to ensure that we have Sheffield United as part of the conversation, <laughs> and it's not just dominated by the blue and white half of the city. <laughs> so we do have a little bit of balance here uh, tonight. And Jose, you've timed your arrival in the studio with the precision of one of those late 
but fair challenges that wins the ball. <laughs> you were here, I think, precisely three minutes before the start of the show. Absolutely, right on time. Well, uh, yeah, that's a matter of opinion. Absolutely. For, <laughs> for you, yes. <laughs> I'm not so sure for me, but it's good to see you, uh, particularly Thank good you so to much. see you, as you are the author of this book uh, called Win the Day, and I'm sure it's being yeah. bought in great numbers by Sheffield Wednesday supporters uh, as we speak. Yeah, I've been signing a few. A few of those have been signing, yeah, which is a good signal. <laughs> I bet it is a very good thing. Uh, and you've also been doing a few interviews too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all, all around to talk about the book and the, my journey in Sheffield Wednesday, which, uh, which has been an amazing, which, like I said, is, um, is something so special. Since the first day I walked into this club till now, it's been an amazing journey. And uh, to combine all of that, and uh, that's why I, I made the book to share with the old Sheffield Wednesday family, to my fans, and the, more about Jose Semedo because all of them know Semedo more on the football pitch. Yeah. But on this book, they can see Semedo in total. So yeah. this, the reason why I did this book is all about them to open them my heart. And at the same time, there is some positive thinking there, some good stuff which can help not only them, but the sons, the kids, the daughters, all for everybody, yeah. for everybody. Yeah, that's the reason. I made this book. We're going to talk in depth about the book, about your time at Sheffield Wednesday. Uh, you've actually answered one of my questions <laughs> in that answer, that first one, without me asking. Some say, it's a bit like that tom tomato, tomato song. Some say semedo, and some say semedo. I notice you say semi semedo, yes? Yeah, semedo. Well, I was wrong then, because I've always said semedo. What have you said, Andy <laughs> Guinness? I think I probably said semedo as well. <laughs> <laughs> you see all the social media today, I said, no, no, I didn't. Can you go have a look? And when I went to have a look and I see my book, they said, your book is on fire now. <laughs> <laughs> and they said to me, I was waiting for you all the time to let me know yeah. when can I post the picture. And I said, yeah, I was about to tell you, but on the same time, you write me the forward. That's, that's fantastic. And I know you wish me all the best. Yeah. I would not ask you for nothing more because the most important thing for me is to have the forward. And you did that for me. I would not ask you anymore. No. Said, come on, we are friends. I will do everything for you. And I have here your book, and I will read your book anyway. He I did, would do that. He did that without asking. I've missed, exactly, a, tr I missed a trick in promoting this show. I should have included <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo's Twitter <laughs> <laughs> on it. May, may have got a tweet. Uh, can you yeah. fix it for us? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, he is a special player, and, and you're, you're, you're a special friend of his, but you, yeah. you, you, you're embarrassed when we keep raising it, I think, aren't you? Sometimes. Not really, no. not really. You know, he's a, he's a special guy. He's a mm -hmm. proper friend. We've grown up since 10 years old and we was living in the same room. We have some very, very things. All the time we was together, we went to the gym at midnight when nobody, when we are not allowed to go. We yeah. hide him behind the machines to get ourselves in great position. We do a lot of times 1v1s in the small pitch we have there in the academy. He put some weights on his leg. Yeah. He said, I want to work my quick feet and you was, you want to work your defensive skill, and the, I'm the best player here, and you'll be, be able to stop.